How I live the theory of the grandfather's paradox Time travel to way back in time Grandpa was in the shop about to meet grandma Handsome dude and his suit decently pressed Cocked his hat to the side just like Elliot Ness Dude was fat with socks and shoes to match his suit and hat No, not the usual cat How do I approach a man that big And tell him I'm his grandson when the man's yet to have kids What's more, it would have to be I that the guy's 23 and I'm 25 But somehow I get the courage to talk to this boy About how I came from the future and things I saw He ain't believe me of course, he thought I was off Even the janitor was laughing while he was mopping the floor At that moment my grandmother walked through the door Looking as pretty and as young as I'd ever saw Grandpa was impressed, so was my grandmother I could tell by the way that they glanced at each other What's your phone number? He asked, she laughed, and laughed I'm thinking to myself at last All I gotta do now is play Cupid But the next move I made was straight stupid I forgot that the floor was wet I slipped into a jar of pickles that fell on the floor And guess, yes, it made a mess I'm worried to death and grandma left Cause pickle juice was all on the dress Wake up Yo, old Henny man Wake up Grandpa ran to the door for his would-be missus Pissed at me cause he ain't get the ditches Now this is ridiculous, I'm all shook up What is to become of me if they don't hook up? I decided to time travel to 78 To Virginia, St. Joseph's, my birthday I was looking at the wall for the charts at the time For Denise C. Shockley, that was my mom It was strange, and I started going insane The nurse told me no one had checked in under that name I went out to the front door, stood in the rain Hoping my mother would check in, but she never came Time travel again this time to North Philly, to Newkirk, where all my young boys will be I saw my boys, they were three, not four When I moved to the block, I became the fourth four I watched them play sports, this time they cut it short It wasn't even, it was only three of them If I was there, we'd probably play till the evening Leaving so late, we go home and get a beating On the way home, they got jumped by some kids From my old neighborhood that I grew up with And that's a trip Up, yo. Sitting in heaven. Somebody pitch him. Time travel to Ghana. You won't believe me. It's my aunt Selassie and my uncle Stevie. I hope they'll be happy to see me. I've been through a lot. I just want to come home and watch TV. I'm standing at the gate and the car pulls up. I'm saying to myself, hope this ain't no more stuff. Then the kid jumps out and he's yelling, look, dad. Showing Uncle Stevie a new book bag. So I took that as a sign. Either that kid's face is mine or I'm out of my mind. I proceeded to attack him. I still asked he yelled help. A bodyguard came out for backup. I knew I couldn't fight that nut, so I backed up and dashed out the front thinking to myself, that sucks. It couldn't get worse until I ran into my favorite teacher, Mr. Amwa from Rich Church, who made claims that he didn't remember me. Is this the end of me or maybe his memory? It's got to be his memory. Yo, he went back to the classroom The desk that I used to sit at was empty Maybe I'm in the bathroom I watched as the class wrote Mad notes with only Ebenezer in the class To crack jokes The recess bell rang and cats stayed in Because the weather was bad It was raining I watched as they played in Knowing about this time I'd be rapping to entertain them But I was nowhere to be found Nope, nope, nowhere to be found You wake up after all this searching and all this hurting. Yo, I'm sure I can trust one person. Time travel. 
Now in 2003, well, maybe my wife and daughter will remember me. When I walked in the house, it looked different. It wasn't the same house I lived in. What's up with this kid? I ran to my daughter's room, and it was weird. All the Winnie the Pooh stuff on the wall had disappeared. I'm getting scared. Nah, I'm getting mad. Who would redo my daughter's room? It was Trav. Then my wife walks in with Didi and Nicole, but they look startled. They just see me and they roll. I started thinking about all the time traveling. That is when the mystery started unraveling. I thought about hip hop and what it would be. All the would be MCs I never would teach. How I never hooked up with Black so he could dominate gospel rap and have a passion for that. How I never met Blake or Play and got to talk with Michael Court about rap all day. Mel took his beat back home. It turned into a metronome. And and the idea went back in his dome. I looked in the mirror like, yo, what is this? But well, who am I talking to? I don't exist. Then you'll see that it is not the spoon that bends, it is only yourself. <laughs> 